Carl Fisher was like, what better way to get folks if I bring my elephants? Thank you for joining us. I'm Allison Godlove. We're here in Miami Beach, known for its lively nightlife and beautiful beaches. But much like the rest of Florida, it started as a swampland. Miami Beach became a city in 1915. It was founded by Carl Fisher. And so the city beforehand, it was uninhabitable. It was a mangrove barrier island. Nobody was living here. At some point, it was a mango, pineapple, farm but that kind of failed and through John Collins and Carl Fisher they went through different steps so that they can make it a habitable city. Florida was at that time uh, an area where a lot of more folks were coming into and living. It started in the 1860s during the Seminole Wars and as well as the Civil War and then it just continued more after Reconstruction and folks just wanted something new, something different and by the late 1800s they're like, how can we make this a more habitable city below Lake Okeechobee? John Collins built the bridge connecting Miami to Miami Beach for easier access. But Carl Fisher promoted the city in a different kind of way, using his elephants. Carl Fisher was like, what better way to get folks if I bring my elephants? And not just one, two. And he named one Carl Jr. and the other one Rosie. And he promoted that so that all these companies who were selling these lands would promote it to other folks who were buying property here in South Florida. And so that kind of did it. Miami Beach is considered a natural, but also man-made island. It's one of only a few in the United States. It is considered man-made to a degree. When we chopped up all the mangroves, it, mangroves are very important to South Florida because mangroves are almost like a cushion for when hurricanes come, they protect us. And so when that was destroyed, you don't have anything of environmental value and all oh, you have the beaches and the erosions. And so how can you have that and the hurricanes and the houses? And the thing that kind of caused uh, a lot of rift was the distance between Fisher Island and a mainland Miami Beach. And so they decided to do this thing called the Governor Cut, which would allow more vessels to come in through Miami and Miami Beach for supplies and what have you. But for the area's growth, they did have to bring a lot more sand from other places so that the land can widen. Driving the streets of Miami Beach today, you still find the vision of Collins and Fisher who wanted the city to be more than just a place to live and work. So Miami Beach is known for fun, it's known for gambling, it's known for nightclubs, and that's something that you would associate it with now. But actually, since its beginning in the 1915s, you have a lot more of these industries popping up. And courtesy of Carl Fisher and John Collins, who they said in order for folks to come, they also need to come for pleasure. 